Hey, what's up? Coketan Luffy here. So I'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible. Um, if you clicked on this video, you're obviously having some issues with your Elgato game captures that have been exported into MP4. Uh, they're desyncing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so right off the hand, or right off the back, without going any further, I'm just gonna tell you: don't use the MP4 um, export instead use the raw files so basically what you can do is um you know really quick let's see if we can open up elgato and i can give you uh i can show you really quick but um you don't want to use you want to disable the mp4 extract option and you want to use the raw files that are actually created by uh the program so um you know what? I'm going to skip this. This is actually, I, I'm actually doing this on my main computer, so I'm not using an updated version of Elgato, which I normally use on my laptop. Um, but um, while that is loading, let me give you a preview of what's happening, if you already know. So, I mean, like, if you're well versed in Elgato, you already know what the, um, the raw files are. They're .ts files. Use those in Premiere Pro and you're good to go. So um, there's actually a video um, which sources my information. It's in the description. But for those who are a little bit more interested as in like what's going on, if you you know want to see what I'm dealing with, I'll show you really quick. So this is an extract. Um, an extracted mp4 from elgato for super smash brothers on wii u so really quick i am going to play this video and you're going to see it looks perfectly fine you know i i didn't think that um you know i didn't account for recording and playing this at the same time let me see if it looks better yeah okay this is not really going to give you a really good preview um let me go ahead and show you guys really quick uh another video i, I made uh, yeah let's let's get into this so really quick this is just a video and it's show right now you're seeing audio and video that's synced up perfectly i just turned down the volume a little bit uh i'll turn it back up in fact, let me skip ahead a little bit to a fight. Maybe this will work. Maybe this will work. So, I mean, just from that, if you're familiar with the game, all right, just take my word for it. The audio and video are synced up perfectly right now. But as I go later into the video, um... Yeah, um, <laughs> you might have been able to tell from just that. If not, um, yeah, the, there, there's basically a derailment. And it happens very, 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 very slowly. So at the beginning of the video, things are really, really good. And as it goes along, the audio and video slowly desync. The reason for that is, uh, the reason for that derailment is apparently the MP4 extracts from the Elgato software if it's loaded maybe I'll give you guys a, a show you guys um, but what happens is when you export into mp4 um, it's recorded in a variable frame rate so what happens is apparently uh, the video actually distincts from the audio not the other way around um, and Adobe has a like a lot of issues dealing with that so what I decided to go ahead and, and I can't really show you in Adobe because my computer I, I'm actually just on an i5 2500k so um, trying to screen record and play in El I mean in uh, Adobe is a little much for my CPU so uh, what I'm gonna show you is I drag this over um, you can see my uh, my studio here and this is the it, these are the mp3 or the mp4 files at the bottom you have another file and it's actually a .ts and if you can kind of see where the the name is it's like tw recording 2016 march 20th etc um it says a dot it's a .ts file so um actually if you go into um 
see now I'm using um, the Elgato or I'm, I'm, I'm exporting my files to uh, my hard drive but basically it would be in your videos folder if you're using the default directory it'll be like be C slash my videos or videos or whatever but in this uh, Elgato game capture library that's actually where the raw files are if you have any audio audio recordings or extra video recordings based off of you using your your webcam or your mic while you're recording uh, game capture HD those files could be in here as well but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these .ts files you're gonna drag all of them into Adobe like I was showing you here you just drag it here and those are the files you're gonna want to use so um, the difference you know, I guess the only difference really is rather than using these TS, I mean, rather than um, using an MP4 file, which is one giant file, you just have uh, a breakup of your entire game capture into four or five, depending on how long your video is. Um, There's just multiple TS files. Drag them all in, make sure they're in the correct order, and that should solve your problem. You shouldn't have any audio desyncing or derailment or whatever. Now, the last thing I was going to mention is if you do have that issue, um, and let's just say you deleted the raw files or you don't have any more and you only have the MP4 file, you can download this software called Handbrake and you can actually um, open up your document. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do it now, but basically you can open up your MP4 file from your Elgato um, exporter, your, your extract from Elgato, and you can export it, re-render it, and export it into uh, a file that is a, a constant frame rate. So basically the reason you're having these issues is because the MP4 that Elgato exports is variable and uh, you want a constant frame rate. The, the TS files here, these are constant, so you're not gonna have any audio issues. So, and the long story short, just import these. If you have an MP4 file and you don't have the TS files, just um, run your MP4 file through Handbrake. And like I said, I have a more detailed video uh, in the description. Uh, which will go over this, but I'm kind of doing this for myself um, So in the future, I don't have issues or I can at least remember how to uh, Fix this issue if I come across it in the future because I'm not paying attention. So um, Yeah, that's pretty much all for now. This is very quick very candid. Hopefully it's uh, it Provides some information for anybody who's you know struggling with these issues and like I said um, Stay away from the mp4 files um, and just use the the TS files and um, It should work for you. So uh, that's actually all for me. I hope that was informative um, Let me know if it was or if it wasn't maybe I can revisit this topic and um, Do a video where I'm a little bit more prepared. Um, I'm actually just making this as I'm fixing and uh, Rendering a video that I did on Super Smash Bros. So um, that's all for now guys. Peace out. Um have fun <laughs> editing. Peace.